Lions TV post-match analysis where it's finished Sunderland 3, Millwall 0. Um, probably not the start that we were expecting. Um, I'll go with the first half. I thought that the first half we showed some really interesting, really well-played um, like link-up play. Um, trying to create opportunities from each side. Honeyman and Vogel Slammer were switching quite a lot, like loads. Um, you know, making a, a bit of confusion. Danny McNamara was battling. Um, and we were quite high. We'd pressed quite high. Um, and, you know, we were making them make mistakes. Um, we were we were creating opportunities. And we were very unlucky not to go into the, into the half-time break with a result. Um, or with a lead, at least. Um, going into the second half, look, I, I know that Dan's absolutely ripped uh, Long and Cresswell uh, a new one, and I'm going to agree with him on the Cresswell one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna completely disagree with him with Long. I've watched the, I watched the replay. There's absolutely no way in this world that any of us would would have saved that. That's for sure. Um, He's got he's twelve yards away from goal or away from the ball. He's got four of his players in front of him. I'm expecting as a goalkeeper myself. Granted, not ne never a million years any anywhere near good enough to play in the championship. But I'm expecting if there's a guy twelve yards away trying to make take a shot on goal, and I've got four of my own players in front. I'm expecting them to make a block, make a tackle, or get the fuck out my way so I can see what's going on. Um, and they done none of them free. Um, the shot's been hit low, hard, and he's seen it with a millisecond ago, and he's just he's thrown something at it, and he he's um he hasn't managed to save it. The third goal, I don't think you can blame him for either. I'll tell you, and listen, you lot, you lot hate me for this, and 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 give me grief for this, but I'll tell you, you can you can blame for the third goal, Gary Rowett, and I'll tell you why. We play too deep in the second half. And I, like, am I the only one that can see that in the second half there was just a completely different setup, a completely different energy to us um, from the first half? Like, we sat back so much more. I don't know whether anybody noticed Zian Fleming, like, literally constantly waving the players, say, get up the pitch, get up the pitch. And, you know, we just sat so deep. And when you're only playing with one striker, you're not ever going to create opportunities. It's, I'm listen. I, I'm past um, caring. We sit seventh in the table, so I obviously must not have a fucking clue what I'm talking about. Because you know, even with the the shocking um, way that we've been playing, we're still up there. So you know, I, I'm I'm done with moaning. But I'm going to tell you this: different setup in the second half. We concede three goals. Is that the players' fault, or is that the manager's fault? I go with a manager, you know, um, and it's it's up to it's up to everybody else to decide. I just think that we were a lot poorer in the second half, and I blame that down the setup. Um, Cresswell's had an absolute shocker, an absolute shocker. Um, I don't think he's a very good footballer. I don't think he's a very good player. I don't think he's a very good defender. Um, and look, he'll do if we haven't got Hutchinson fit. But Hutchinson was on the bench today. My opinion is, is if you're on the bench, then you're fit to play. Um, and I would have given him a chance if there wasn't some weird feeling or ruling about Charlie Cresswell having to play a particular amount of minutes. So, listen, it's the first game back from the World Cup um, or from the little World Cup break. If we're ever going to have a slip up, let's have a slip up in the first game of the season. Let's hope that we can turn it round in the, in, in the game next week. And keep pushing forward and everyone can turn around and go, Kenny, you don't know what you're talking about again. But that's all I've got to say. That's all I've got to say. The second half, I just went back to that dull, pretty much just sat on my phone, not even watching us. But well done to the travelling fans that went today. Listen, you didn't have to today. It was on Sky. It was easy to watch. Um, and you showed a massive commitment um, to the football club. And I'll take me out off to you. Well done. On to the next one. Come on, you lions.